Welcome to Indiana News Desk. I'm Joe Wren. Lawmakers are just about a month away from voting on bills as part of the 2019 legislative session. State House reporter Brandon Smith joins us now to talk about what we can expect out of the legislature next year. Hello, Brandon. First off, legislative work really hasn't kicked off yet, but lawmakers did meet last week to address the General Assembly's policies against sexual harassment. Now, can you briefly explain the backstory behind the policy change and then what lawmakers are working on to deal with this issue? Sure. Well, this came out of legislation from last session where they were mandated, they, the legislature mandated that they themselves create a sexual harassment policy because one existed for staff, there's one that exists for like lobbyists, but none that really existed in a concrete form for lawmakers themselves. So what happened last uh, week was legislative leaders kind of recommended the, the, uh, the framework of the policy, but the real nitty gritty detail work is still to be done. Things like uh, how lawmakers are going to be punished, how it's going to be investigated, that sort of thing. And then uh, that work will happen before the General Assembly fully votes on the, the rules in the next month or so. So, Brennan, one big piece of legislation in 2019 would be addressing Indiana's late lack of hate crime laws, one of only five states without such laws. Lawmakers, both parties pushing to get some laws on the books. How likely are we to see hate crime legislation passed in Indiana this year? In my personal opinion, I don't really think it's all that likely. Uh, this debate has been going on for several years and really uh, significantly in the last three sessions where bills have actually progressively been doing worse each session. One passed all the way through the Senate and then only through a committee and then not even through that committee uh, last session. The debate really hasn't changed much. The factions on either side haven't really changed that much. This year, the governor is standing behind that effort. He's, it's going to be on his agenda, so that obviously helps, but I still don't think it's likely it'll pass. Increasing teacher pay does seem to be an area where there is some consensus across the aisle, so what might prevent legislators from raising teacher pay this session? Honestly, I don't see much preventing that sort of thing from happening this session. As you mentioned, lawmakers of both parties, all four caucuses seem dedicated to the idea of raising teacher salaries. And most importantly, while they haven't fully fleshed out the details of their plan yet, Speaker Brian Bosma kind of teased it a little bit and said that they're not planning to spend new dollars to do it. They're going to they're gonna raise salaries within current education dollars to just direct more dollars to the classroom to those salaries. So I'd be pretty surprised if that doesn't get done. And Brandon, the budget this year is tighter than it has been in recent years, and a lot has to do with getting more money to the state's underfunded Department of Child Services. What changes are lawmakers hoping to do with the extra funding? Well, the, mostly the funding itself is going to salaries. It's going to um, uh, hiring new workers and retaining the old ones. That's where the money specifically is going to go. Okay, Brandon, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Thank you, Joe.